Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Rob, in case you don't know who I am. Um, here at Rob's Fight Club, and it's Christmas Eve, and we're doing a few videos, or I'm doing a few videos. We just uh, finished a, a little class, and we're getting ready to, uh, you know, everybody's getting ready for the holidays. But I thought maybe I'd throw together a couple videos real quick here before I head out for the day. Um, what we're going to talk about today is um, kind of a progressive way of punching. So it gets you right on the on the right track and you're kind of covering all your basics and working from your basics up to your most advanced combinations. Sometimes you get a little overwhelmed, you don't remember what to throw, you're throwing the same combinations all the time exactly the same way. That's not gonna help you when you get in the ring because you're gonna do only what you practice the most when you're nervous and you're sparring. Uh, if you're not sparring, then you know this will at least give you some more things to work on so you're not doing the same old boring combination every time. So the way it works is, um, I'm just gonna start with my jab. Now, first of all, when you're throwing a jab, you wanna make sure, don't start all the way in here because you're too close, all right? Get out here, get to where your full range is when you're throwing that jab, all right? So I'm here, I got my hands up, popping that jab straight forward. Now, make sure you're not telegraphing that jab, you're not pulling it back, you're not winging it out. It's here, the elbow is always underneath that hand and it twists out, it corkscrews out, and it comes back. Right? There's no telegraph. It's right here. Bang, straight forward, straight back. I'm not going to show you what's coming. All right? I want to make it a surprise. I want to hit you when you don't know I'm going to hit you. So we start with just some jabs. So I'm here. Bang, and I throw that jab and I move. If I need a little step on it, I put a little step on it. If I'm in a little closer, I can just throw it. You know? But I don't want to telegraph it at all. I want full forward motion. And then you can even work on moving your head off the center line and stuff like that. Then you go to your double jab. Now the double jab is basically two half beats instead of two whole, uh, whole notes, right? So instead of going here and here, um, pop, pop, right? Two fast ones, as fast as I can throw them. Um, I don't consider this a double jab. I consider that two jabs coming in, right? It's like a one, one, two. The double jab, two quick jabs, right? Catching them when they don't think that second jab's coming. Now I start mixing them up. I got a jab, I got a double jab. All right, so I'm progressing in my punching here. Um, now I might go to a high and a low jab. I'm gonna change my heights. So I got a high jab here, I got a low jab here, and I can put them together. Right? I can go high, low, high. And this is called like, I call it the whack-a-mole, right? You, you throw a jab, you disappear, you come back up, all right? Um, Make sure they don't hit you on the top of the head, right? So the whack-a-mole move there, right? Um, and that's a great way to not get hit after you throw your first jab. So I got single jabs, double jab. I got high-low. Maybe I go low-high. I go high-low-high. All right, or I just dip and then come up, right? Add some, some defense into your offense. So that's a lot of good ones you can do with the jab. Now I start working the cross. So I got just a regular cross. I'm in range, I wheel my shoulders, I throw it. No telegraph, I don't pull it back. I'm right here. I put the one, two together. All right. It's this. It's this. It's this. I go to the body. It's this. It's this. It's this. All right. I keep adding to these. Um, I can double up my cross. All right, and you can always change the heights. So I can go low with the jab, high with the cross. There's a lot of different things I can add in there. Let's see what else. Um, and in the one, two, threes, the double jab, cross and hooks. So uh, one, two, three, now I'm adding that hook in there. Um, double jab, cross hook. You see where we're going here, right? We keep adding to it. Now I change the heights. I go jab, jab, drop, hook, right? Bop, bop, hit the body, come back up to the head. Changing the heights on it. And how many different ways can you change these combinations? I can go jab high, jab low, cross high, hook. See what I'm doing here? I'm taking my double jab, cross, hook combination, and I'm doing it in different ways so I'm not always predictable. So how many ways can you take your basic combinations and change them 
to make them so that it's not the same anymore. You can do this also with adding defenses in. Double jab, step to the right, cross hook, right? Double jab, step to the right, cross hook. Double jab, cross, hook with a step. Double jab, cross, roll, you know, add some other hooks behind that. So you can mix them up, right? Change them up, um, adding some defense in there. You could jab and come out. You could throw a jab, come back out, come back in with your one, two, three. I can go pivot jab, one, two, three. Double jab, cross hook combination, but now I've added in some defense, all right? So you can now take this and work on doubling up same side like we did with the double cross, maybe throw double hooks. You can work on taking the, uh, the, the front arm and throwing the hook off of the jab. So now I'm working like jab hook, right? I go jab, hook cross hook. I go uh, to the liver shots, double hooks on one side, and just keep progressing with these combos. If you change a variable in your combination, it becomes a new combination. What if instead of punching to their face, I punch to their arm? What if I um, punch to the air sometimes as a, as a fake? What if I add that pivot in? What if I do a slip cross? What if I do a slip jab? What if I do a pivot jab? Right, there's lots of ways of changing the variables to make your combinations different. Different. What if you change the timing and the rhythm? So instead of going one, one, two, I go one, one, two, right? Change it up, be creative. Start with your jab, go to a double jab. What about a triple jab? I'll give you a dollar for a triple jab. You don't see people throw them that much. Probably gonna work if you get good at it. They gotta be quick, you gotta practice it. Start at the basics, work up, build a foundation. If you got a good strong foundation, then when you get in there, the house won't blow over, okay? It's gotta be good, it's gotta be strong. Your basics have to be good. It has to be internalized into your subconscious so you'll do it in that ring. I'm Coach Rob, Merry Christmas. We'll see you on the next one.